All right, so today I'm gonna do a really quick once over on how to set up your sheet metal rules. You're gonna come up here to modify and sheet metal rules. And over here, I usually like to work in inches, so steel inches. Now next to here, you've got an edit and a create new button. We're gonna click on create new and it's gonna base a new rule on that steel inches. And I'm gonna call it, in this case, seven ounce leather. I'm gonna leave the thickness at that because that's about what seven ounce is. The K factor, the bigger the number, the closer your stretched out piece is gonna to be to its original size and the smaller number, the, uh, the more it's going to act as though it um, uh, didn't stretch along the, the surface. It's hard to explain, but I would leave that at about 0.44 for most leather. I'll go into depth on that uh, in a later video. So right here, go ahead and highlight that and change that to 0 0.01. So that's gonna give you a 10 thousandths gap between your seams which is good for modeling, uh, but not enough to actually affect you when you're making that product. <clears throat> Bend conditions. So radius, this one I like to have at 0 0.001. It's the closest to a nice round or a square corner that you can get, and you know you can bend a piece of leather to a square corner. And everything else, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 0 0.001. There we go. Now corner conditions to bend 0 0.001, three bend 0 0.001. There we go. So quick recap here. Uh, thickness of your leather. Uh, K factor affects how much it stretches when you fold it into a flat sheet metal part. The gap between your pieces when you make a joint, and then everything else, just go ahead and set that to one thousandth of an inch. Hit OK, and now you've got that in your library. When you come over here to create a new sheet metal component, it's going to be in your library with the rest of everything. There's my seven ounce, I've already got some eight ounce, and you can just select that and now everything will be much more like the leather you were hoping to work with. Well, I hope this was helpful. I'll put out something a little bit more in depth later, but this should get you going. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, stay creative.